Good Thursday evening, Southeast Texas. It's all about our cold front coming through uh, tomorrow. Looks like it'll be moving through the lakes area early to mid afternoon and then in the triangle late afternoon into the early evening hours with a band of showers and storms and then a dramatically drier air mass moves on in and that will certainly bring cooler temperatures on top of it. So tomorrow well above normal. Normally our red line shows about 83 degrees and we're going to be well above that at 90 degrees tomorrow. Normally our low should be around 62, so we're well above that at 74 uh, coming up tomorrow. Then as we head on into Saturday, Sunday and Monday, notice those low temperatures are well below the blue line. Low to mid 50s here in the triangle, probably to mid to upper 40s in the lakes area. Look at the highs, mid to upper 70s, and that's well below the red line, which is 82 degrees. So below normal numbers coming up over the weekend uh, with lower humidity. Now, as we head towards the middle of next week, temperatures will begin to moderate, but still about normal, maybe a little bit above normal. As far as moisture levels, we look at dew points because you can have 100% relative humidity with a dew point of 34 degrees. So the dew points are better descriptions of the amount of moisture in the air. 70 degree dew point means it's muggy, and we're gonna see that coming up tomorrow. Then the dew points drop into the 40s. That means the air is very dry, so your humidity levels are going to be low. And it's going to feel comfortable coming up this weekend, especially the afternoons. Then as we normally see, we are not far enough north to just stay cold or cool all fall or all winter long. We go back and forth, back and forth. You know how it goes. We're back up to 68 degree dew points by Wednesday, and that means the humidity will be returning to our area. As far as allergy reports today, everything, every level is down. However, ragweed remains high at 299 parts per million. So maybe an isolated shower this evening with decreasing cloudiness and patchy fog possible in the morning. We'll see lows near 70 in the lakes, mid 70s in the triangle. Then tomorrow, most of the day should be dry. I'd say until after about three or four o'clock in the afternoon maybe even later now. This is new model data, and this is only one model, so our results may be different, but this is a pretty, I think they're doing the best job. It has slowed down a bit, so nothing real heavy, and if this model is right, you don't see much in the triangle. This is at 9 p.m. tomorrow evening. Again, the front may be faster or slower. This is just one model. Otherwise, on the Gulf of Mexico, slightly choppy seas around 1 to 3 feet near coastal marine forecast. We'll see southwest winds at 5 to 10 knots. Water temperature 81 degrees. Our forecast tonight, 10 to 20 percent coverage of showers. We'll see decreasing cloudiness, Apache fog, lows around 71 lakes, mid-70s triangles. Winds become calm tomorrow. Because of the uncertainty, I'll go with about a 30 percent coverage of uh, late afternoon and evening showers and storms. I think if we get partly cloudy skies, some big patches of sun, over the area with a southwest wind. I think that's possible. So uh, upper 80s, maybe 90 in some spots coming up tomorrow. So a yellow bar day tomorrow for late day. We're talking probably after 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, really towards tomorrow evening. We'll go with a 30% coverage. Now we'll look at radar, and we may have to change that number up or down either way, but I think it's a reasonable number at this point. Now not everybody's going to hit 90 degrees tomorrow either. After that front comes through, Saturday is going to be a breezy, cooler day. 15 degrees cooler and winds will be gusting out of the north at 20 miles an hour. Sunday will be the chilliest morning. Lakes area probably getting into the upper 40s. Few spots could hit mid 40s. I think we'll see about 52 to 55 here in the triangle. Very comfortable afternoons coming up Sunday and Monday with low humidity. This is California weather, if you will. Then as we head towards Tuesday, the high will move off towards the east and we'll see things moderating a little bit warmer afternoon highs and by Wednesday maybe some isolated showers that's iffy same thing on Thursday with another weak cold front moving through the area download our app follow us on Facebook and Twitter and as always there's more weather at 12newsnow.com